morning everyone. Today I'm going to be working on adding storage to two of our bathrooms. So all three of our bathrooms have tiles along the walls from floor to ceiling. And I really like the tiles, but it makes it difficult to change anything in the bathroom. And I don't want to just go drilling holes into our walls because what if I want to change the decorations in two to three years? And then if I drilled holes, then it would just be a hassle to like I wouldn't be able to patch them up the way you would with drywall. I would have to replace the entire tile and then I would have to find matching tile and it would just be really complicated. So I don't want to do any drilling, but I bought these um, Tiskin bathroom accessories from Ikea and these are awesome because unlike most section type things, these ones stick really well. But they are made of white plastic and they just look kind of cheap. So today I'm planning on spray painting them a matte black so that they'll just look a little bit more elegant. And then I also bought some wood, actually they're not wood, they are PVC baseboards, but they look like wood because they have this um, wood contact paper on them. So I'm gonna cut these down to size and then create shelves for the bathroom using two of these Tiskin toilet paper holders um, to create like the brackets and then using this fake wood to put on top. And then I'm also using the same wood to cover up some of the purple tiles in the bathroom. So if you saw in the previous video, I spray painted the purple tiles in the shower stall with Rust-Oleum tub and tile spray paint. And I think that turned out really good. But there's some other purple tile near the mirrors that I want to cover up with this wood just to bring some more natural materials into the bathroom. And also it'll tie in really nicely with the shelves that we're creating today. So the first thing that I did was just take some sandpaper and lightly sand all of the surfaces that I would be spray painting because this is going to help the spray paint stick to the plastic better. And then I just took a microfiber cloth and wiped away all the dust. The next thing I did was to cut some pieces of saran wrap because I wanted to cover the suction cups so that they wouldn't get any spray paint on them because obviously that would interfere with their ability to stick to the wall. Then I went outside and spray painted them a matte black. When it's wet, it looks shiny, but then once it dries, it is a matte color. And here I'm also spray painting an Ikea Tiskin towel rod because I want to add it to our downstairs bathroom so we have a place to hang hand towels. The next step was to cut down the PVC baseboards and I just did this using a hacksaw. You could obviously use real wood if you wanted to, but in my case, I decided to go with this option because it was cheap. And also since it's PVC, I don't have to worry about the wood warping or getting moldy from being in a high humidity bathroom, especially because we live in Thailand. So this baseboard is pretty realistic looking from the front, but on the back, and on the ends, you can tell that it's not real wood. So for the shelves, the way that I'm gonna get around this is I'm going to put two pieces back to back, and that way it'll look like wood from both the top and the side and the bottom. And I also think it looks prettier stacked because it makes the wood look thicker. And then for the ends, I got this contact paper that looks like wood from the dollar store and I'm just going to cut out pieces to cover the end right here and then glue it on with epoxy. Want to keep it nice and clean, not freak out and cause a scene. I try to hold it together, keep it together. So once it gets glued on, it looks pretty good. Just be cute and super bland I try to hold it together Keep it together Been playing it down But I'm so getting tired Now won't you meet high Cause I've been feeling, feeling that crazy So now that I have all my pieces I'm going to 
glue the contact paper to the ends using epoxy and then I'm gonna glue the two pieces of baseboard together with silicone. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out Down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Every time I